Sarah. Caught a case of blindness, I hear. Yeah, and while Gideon's down, uh, I'm stuck like this, but it's no big deal. No big deal? Right, you're the first mortal to ever see a god's true form and live to tell the tale, and that is no big deal. It's no big deal. So nothing else has been happening, right? There's no other side effects. Look, I know you're not being honest with me, Sarah. I just want to help. What is she talking about, babe? Look, it's nothing, okay? I just... I didn't want to upset anyone. What's so upsetting? When I touch somebody, I see people stabbed to death. But it's probably just some subconscious fear that's been kicked up by the coma. It's like a, it's a nightmare. You've lost one kind of vision and you've gained another. Sarah, you're seeing the future. Look, they're just nightmares, Charlie. <laughs> This can't be the future, all right? It's not possible. Why? You're a paragon of destiny who got radiated by godly light. Why is it so impossible that you gain the gift of foresight? Because we don't all die. We? What do you mean? Like, we die in like 50 years or we die with me wearing this exact outfit? Option two. It's got to be Astra. Charlie, would you stop with the Astra thing? She saved our lives in hell, okay? I'm not going to just assume the worst. What, she's some manipulative psychopath? Well, she just tried to manipulate me into coming in here and begging Charlie to use the loom again, so... Okay, well, that's not a crime. Guys, the rings, they're gone. I found this in the trash chute. Okay, that is a crime. Gidget, play back internal monitoring of the parlor, please. My internal monitoring subsystems have been disabled. I'm afraid we have a saboteur on board. Okay. Now I'm starting to assume the worst. 